23rd of August, that means it's a damn it, I mean, my dad's birthday. On the Massey, beast. Oop, don't start. There we go. Just gotta get the sprayer out from behind it. Now, do you make it move? Can't even shut the door. Gas struts on the door are too strong. Oh, we got a handbrake, but yeah, I've not seen one of for years. Push that forward, shall we? No, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing on this thing. Hmm. That's got forwards and backwards on it as well, hasn't it? It's not very self explanatory. Neutral. Forwards. I don't know, I'm going to have to ring someone. Got it moving. I had my foot on the clutch, so it wasn't selecting forwards, so it took my foot off the clutch, which is a bit odd. Anyway, I can't believe how rubbish the lock is on it. It's got no lock whatsoever. So, I don't know whether the bump stops are set wrong. But yeah, uh, lots of people say in the videos, would I ever buy a Massey? Um, I don't see the point. The fence do everything we need. Time for a wash so we can actually see out the windows. This was the wheat straw that we cut yesterday and believe it or not it's dry despite it being still but it is quite warm so hopefully we'll get this bale first and then we've got some rape straw that we can roll over that's been cut for a couple of weeks that needs baling and we've got some wheat straw that we cut two weeks uh, no last weekend that got a lot of rain on it it's like all soggy in the middle so rich is gonna have to shake that out and we have to row it up and treat it like hay now because it's so wet in the middle of the row and then we can get these fields ready then for sowing with barley headers here so we're gonna go cutting in a bit and move this straight to the other field this is where we left it last night you see you can't see but this field was drilled with oilseed rape on friday but obviously it was direct drill so it just looks exactly the same anyway i've just come in with glyphosate and i've just sprayed off around it over the top killing this ryegrass because i've forgotten to do it the other day but it shouldn't have harmed it because the oilseed rape hasn't started to come up yet and um yeah i can't see any there's a bit of volunteer sort of stuff but that's mainly weed but hopefully now that grass weed will subside and a new oilseed rape should get a chance and pop up and hopefully we should have a decent yield of oilseed rape. this stubble now because it was quite grassy this is one that we tried that weed wiper thing in anyway there's like tufts all over it and then obviously quite bad bits here so i'm just gonna knock it out with a bit of glyphosate and then we'll probably get another stale seed bed and then hopefully we'll nail the ryegrass before we put the next crop in just back at bill and joe's now put the header on sam's so brought it up with the fence i'm gonna get into this field now and cut some spring barley obviously we've been cutting in some extreme conditions so i'm just inside with a screwdriver Cleaning the edge of the sieves because there's bits on it. That's better now, it's just slowing down and shaking it, just blowing it all out, put all the rubbish off them. Put the chaff spreader back in here now. One of the shooters has just gone over there with his Land Rover. And look at all them pigeons now that's just got up. That is a close shave not a head left on the floor it's been tweaking the settings i can change the pressure it puts onto the floor we'll be messing around with that and the angle of the knife so that it gets it all up so i think we're, we're farming now 
some of the heads have kind of necked over in this. Got a bit of stuff on the front of here. So I'm just gonna kick it in. Got the handy handrail at the front of the cab there that you can't want it. You can see what I'm doing. There's a stone down there, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull that off as well. Find out why that centre belt's not turning. I think I've got some soil stuck in the corners of it. Cutting ball here, I don't know if you can see, but it's struggling to go over the divider because it's quite damp still. It's the, the grain 17%, but because it's really humid and the soil's wet, the straw's chewy and it doesn't want to go over the divider. It's got these like hoops that go on the end of it, but I've not got them with me, so I think we're going to finish this field. There's only a little bit left. Call it a day full till tomorrow and then put them on the dividers. Tractor update there's a 939 in Devon that looked to be a really good value tractor, but it's not had any work done on the engine or any work done on the gearbox, and it's getting near the age where it needs a refurb. A local dealer has suddenly come back with a sharper price on a 936, which is a year old and done more hours, but it's had the engine done up and the gearbox done up and it's looking like that could be a better buy because it's got GPS on it. It isn't black though, but maybe that could be a winter project. The project turning it from green to black. So yeah, that's where we're at at the moment now. Um, both of them are available pretty soon as well, which is good. So it'll be handy because we get it on the baler as well, but it will be green. The black one that loads of people have sent me in Germany a lot of hours and I asked they said the engine had been done the gearbox had done they're supposed to be emailing me some stuff over today about that one anyway it's not arrived so it's also if I bring it over it's got it's not got a UK hitch on so I've got to put a second hand hitch on it and this that and the other it starts to get quite expensive to bring it back and it's done nearly 11,000 hours so that's probably not a very attractive option at the moment but if I did find one I could always get one but I think this green one for now at our localish dealer is probably better than the one from Devon. The one from Devon, I, I, to be honest, the 939 I thought was ideal, but the, the local did, like I say, sharp the pencil. I didn't realise it had GPS already on it as well, which obviously is an attractive proposition. Last set of so well, we obviously it was last harvest of the night when we cut this field. Anyway, Sam's just bailing the last few rows of straw, quite a bit of straw on here. We'll move this out of the way, and then it's the next stop for this is houses. So I'm on the fast track, and Andrew is on Johnny Picker Richards. Massive because Richards just on the mail at the moment. So. Get this shifted before the kids set fire to it from the estate over there. It's a lovely area though if you want to buy a house. You probably can't see on the camera but there's a bit of sort of smoke coming out there. The brakes have been behind it slightly. Had the hydraulic brakes on it the other day on the mail the first time we used them and they're not returning properly so if the springs aren't quite big enough. Anyway, we don't normally use them so I'm going to plug the hydraulic brakes in on the fast track now and then we can drain the oil out and then unplug them. Them little hydraulic rams look to be stuck out a little bit so I'm going to try and push them back in with my feet. Go. I'll have to adjust the black adjusters, which is basically that little screw there. Turn the brake slightly because they're obviously a bit too keen. Actually, that's the problem. For some reason, the handbrake's on. Stiff as anything that wire. Yeah, I think someone's like lent on the handbrake and put it on. So, need to take it off. I can work out how to. That's better, I've released it and I've left the handle backwards now so we can't get forced down on by mistake. Obviously we're getting this straw in now, I'm just looking. This is a bit here where the pigeons have flattened it and all the heads are on the floor and they've all been totally eaten. Just hundreds and hundreds of heads of wheat just demolished by them. Just getting a load of straw back now. It's about I don't know, probably another two load left. Looks like it's gonna be a nice sunset. There's a, actually a nest in this field, but I can't find it, but I've got a photograph of it. So I'll, I'll show you.
It's over by the pond there, but I've been wandering around for 20 minutes and can't find it. But see if you can guess what the eggs are off. I don't know if it's partridge or pheasant, but someone will know. Not a big stack or a mini merlot. Quickly scoot back to the yard with these bales, come back for another load. This field should be cleared. I've got another one on the other side of Emerson's trading ground, which is over there to do. And then uh, we've got all the wheat, well, not all the wheat straw, we've got the wheat straw and hailwood shifted and moved. Anyway, then I'm going to go and see my dad because it's his birthday. It's also Gary Abbott's birthday as well, so happy birthday, Gary. So I'll um, probably call it a day for today now. So you can watch another video over there, you can subscribe over here, have a guess, see what you think them, them eggs are off anyway. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow.